Performance review interviews. Both managers and employees tell us they're nervous about them. Why is that? Perhaps it's because they've had a poor experience previously. Whatever the case, as manager, you need to make sure that it's effective and worthwhile for both you and the employee. Here's some tips that can help. Make sure that you recognise the outcome of a performance review interview should be a learning and development plan for the employee for the next 6 to 12 months. Remember, a review interview is not about a remuneration review or an opportunity to talk about really poor performance and corrective action. It should be about developing a learning and development plan for the employee. Therefore, to make it work best, remember that you should do some preparation and make sure you give the employee a few days notice before the interview so they have a chance to prepare as well. Use documentation with a few questions that each of you can consider in preparation for the interview. And when you're in the interview, make sure you try and focus on talking about what you'd like as a manager going forward rather than a history lesson on what has or hasn't worked previously. Now, to demonstrate some of the key points of the interview process, our HR expert Carol McCormack is acting as the manager. I am acting as the employee. As we pick up the action, you'll see that Carol is opening the discussion with some key points. Stephen, just before we go into the appraisal this afternoon, I just wanted to go through with you the process that we're going to use. So what I like to do is I like to ask you how you think you've performed in each one of the key performance areas that are on your appraisal form, so I can get your feedback, then we can have a discussion around that. Carol will now show us how to give some feedback on good performance. And I agree, Stephen, with your self-assessment. In mm -hmm. fact, I really want to congratulate you on the effort that you've put in to bring in those four big key accounts, mm -hmm. especially in the last quarter that's made a significant contribution to the organisation. So whatever you've been doing there is working really well, obviously for you mm -hmm. and for the organisation. So um, great work there. Now Carol will demonstrate how to give some feedback on not-so-good performance. Now, one of the areas that I am concerned about is the issue that we talked about a few weeks ago with perceived conflict between Jane and Mary, which is now kind of spilled over into the other team members. And I know that we um, agreed that you would deal with that as, the, as their manager. I just wanted to know how you're progressing with that and what else we need to do. Okay, so you've mentioned that perhaps maybe uh, you're a bit uncomfortable in dealing with that situation. Would you be interested in um, some assistance, either from myself or perhaps some training, conflict management a workshop that perhaps might give you a bit more confidence to deal with that? Yeah, I'd like that. That'd be great. Have you got any ideas of your preferred way of doing that? Great, okay. I'm pleased that you're um, willing to go along and uh, get some skills because uh, managing your people is a really critical success factor for the future. A critical part is to sum up and close the meeting well. Carol's going to show us how. Stephen, you should be very proud of the year that you've had. You've made a significant contribution to our results and exceeded the budget, so well done for that. The other area that we are concerned about is the people management side. That is perhaps maybe not your most favourite side, but let's see if we can work on that. As we mentioned, you are keen to have some uh, conflict management training. Let's meet next Friday, shall we, and look at the um, courses that you've outlined that you might be interested in, in attending. That sounds really good. Stephen, what we'd like to do now is um, I will make sure that you've got a copy of the documentation on all the points that we've agreed on so that we can work on the action plan for the next um, planning period. And so I'll make sure you get a copy of that for yourself and the other copy will go on your personnel file. Thank you for a great year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Carol. I hope those tips were helpful. Did you notice that Carol at each stage asked for my input as the employee as well as having her say as manager?